Hey guys, I decided it was time to tell you guys about my experience um, with my first job fresh out of high school. Um, it was a little restaurant in Pomona, my hometown where I grew up, spent my whole life there pretty much. And um, it was um, called Leela's. It was owned by, well, maybe I shouldn't say her real name, but her nickname was Leela. And so she she opened this restaurant originally for her son, who um, be, just became a cordon blue chef. And um, basically what happened is he didn't really end up working out with the restaurant. They got in arguments or something, and he quit. And so she hired in a, a new chef, and the restaurant was still going, but it wasn't really going well. But that's when I came in but, um, back in uh, late 06. That was, I believe, in November, um, or towards the end of the year, I forget. Um, so I came on board, and I started as a bus, uh, busser and dishwasher, um, put on the payroll for six seventy-five an hour, which at the time was California's minimum wage. Um, in 2007, um, it was raised up to uh, seven fifty, which was then I was put on the payroll for that. But the thing is, um, I was put on the payroll and everything, but she was struggling so bad and the business just wasn't working out because it's a fine dining restaurant in like kind of like a ghetto area of Pomona. Um, those of you Pomona Inland IE people, Southern California know what I'm talking about. Uh, George for title, he's one of them, another YouTuber, um, check him out. Um, so anyway, I basically ended up working there for several months and I was living at home at the time with my mom. Um, so it was just, you know, money wasn't that urgent right then. And I was getting a lot of free food at the restaurant and I was being given a lot of, um, hours, um, which ended up actually kind of backlashing in a way because... Um, I ended up never getting paid. Um, that's kind of the end of the story, but the juicy part of the story, I just wanted to throw that part out there just so you guys know what happened with that. But if you've heard of uh, Kitchen Nightmares, the show with uh, Chef Gordon Ramsay, perhaps you've heard of him. I actually met him. They came down and filmed um, because we we're a failing restaurant, if you're familiar with the whole concept of the show. So... We were a failing restaurant, and um, he came in and tried to change change up the menu and all this and that. You can see me in like uh, a few scenes in the background, standing around without the um, without the goatee. Um, yes, I actually had <laughs> a clean shaven face at one point, and um, anyway, so he tried to save the restaurant. It didn't work out. Went into debt closed down, the owner lost their house, lost the restaurant, employees got burned. You're probably wondering how much I got burned for. You ready for this? You ready? It's kind of, uh, well, I'll just go ahead and say it. it was, I estimate, because I, I, I counted all my hours and my little time slips, which I still have in a little container somewhere in the garage, I think. I'd show them to you. It's like in a, an old like a peanut butter container. Um, and I, I counted all, all the hours times minimum wage and then I, and I took into consideration, I think, when the minimum wage raised up to 750 and then, um, so I'm rambling, <laughs> you're all in suspense, $7,500 estimated. And this is when I was about 19 years old, I believe. Now the story doesn't end there because, uh. Later in 2008, um, I found another job at another restaurant. Um, it was called uh, Herman's Barbecue. You can look that up. And later, uh, term turned into a Match Barbecue and Grill. So, what happened with that? It was another restaurant that was kind of already on the way down. Um, I didn't really work there long. It was only like three months, and they laid me off. And 
they still owed me my last paycheck. Well, actually, they gave me the physical paycheck in my hand, but when I went to go to the bank, they told me, uh, there's insufficient funds. You still want to try to cash it? It's going to bounce. And I was like, nah, I better take it back and hold on to it. So my last paycheck was for, <laughs> it's funny, I remember the exact amount because I used to tell a bunch of people about it all the time, $535.91. So I missed out on that, and uh, I actually took the, the owner, or one of the co-owners, I don't even know, to small claims court, and so did a, um, one of the waitresses there who was owed about three grand. Yeah. yeah. It, it, oh, there was a chef, the prep, the prep cook, whatever he was, chef. He's owed 15 grand. So he, got, he actually got screwed over worse than I did. <laughs> It was, oh my God, it's a whole other story. It's really depressing. So all in all, I've got burned for about $8,000 combined from two failed restaurants. And this is when I'm like 19, 20 years old, just like out of high school, just trying to get my first car, just trying to get started in life. You know, it's just been setback after setback after setback after setback. And I used to be able to find jobs here and there I wouldn't say easily, but if I put some effort into it, I'd usually be able to find something eventually. That was back yeah, around 08, around 09, well, you guys know that, that whole story, around 09 is when it started getting harder, and it's been progressively harder and harder and harder up until 2013 today. So I'll leave you guys on that, chew on that, <laughs> I ramble on a lot. And I'm probably going to fill up this memory card. So subscribe to my channel. I've got plenty more videos on the way. Stay tuned.